Welcome to the ITIL 4 Release Management Practice Certification e-learning course from One World Training. We are delighted and excited that you have enrolled for this course from us. The Release Management Practice is one of the five practices within the Plan, Implement and Control bundle, which is also a separate certification which has a longer exam. Within this bundle, there are five practices and Release Management is one of them. The other practices are Deployment Management, service configuration management, IT asset management, and change enablement. So you can do all these five practice certifications, and you could also do the combined bundle certification called the plan, implement, and control. We would like to acknowledge Axelos and PeopleCert because we have used their logos and materials in this courseware. About One World Training, our company. We are a global training business simulation and training company having our offices in the USA, the UK, the Netherlands, India, Malaysia, United Arab Emirates, South Africa, and many other countries. We provide training in IT, business management, project management, ISO standards, GDPR, and many other topics for individuals and organizations. One World Training delivers courses in five different ways. One, public classroom based. Two, online from home or work, which is virtual, Three, e-learning, which is self-paced. Four, a mix of self-paced e-learning along with support when you need it. And five, at the user's location on-site for private and government organizations. We are authorized and endorsed by leading global professional bodies. And we have here some of those logos depicting those bodies and the courses that we offer. About the exam, it is the Release Management Practice Certificate exam. It's a 30-minute exam. And there will be 20 questions. All of them would be multiple choice. So there is one mark allocated per question. There is no negative marking. You need to obtain at least 13 score to pass the exam. So 13 or more means pass. There are three types of questions, the standard, negative, and list. Standard are most of the questions, the multiple choice. Negative means you could have a question that has a negative connotation, such as which of the below options is not correct, uh, which uses the word not, that is. And there is no negative marking as such, as I mentioned earlier. List questions mean you will be giving given four options or four choices, and uh, you will have to pick up two of them and conclude your answer as the combination of two of the four listed options. In any case, always you will have to pick four you will be given four choices and you have to select one of the four. It is a closed book exam. It is invigilated. It's an online exam and you need to have your camera on during the exam. If you are writing the exam in a language which is not your spoken language, then you get additional 25% time allocated automatically based on the profile that is registered in your PeopleCert account. The exam is at Bloom's level two and three of learning and testing. Uh, level one is remembering, very basic recall questions, but the exam is at level two, which is understanding kind of questions, and then level three, which are application questions. So it will be a mix of both level two and level three questions. We don't know exactly how many of these would be level two and how many level three. There are no questions at level four, five, or six, which are more about analysis, evaluation, and creation, respectively. This is the overall ITIL 4 certification scheme as it stands now. At the bottom, we have the ITIL foundation, and which is a prerequisite for you to come to this practice certification for release management. And uh, so, and there is also the the uh, ITIL practice manager, and then we have the managing professional and the strategic leader, those three streams shown somewhere at the top. And at the utmost top, we have the ITIL master. And then on the left side, we have the ITIL extension modules. There are four of them, and all of them are the specialist modules. So let's dig into them and understand what they are. At the extreme right, we have the ITIL strategic leader. Uh, this certificate is automatically obtained when you pass the direct plan and improve exam and the digital IT a strategy exam in addition to the ITIL foundation exam. The managing professional, which is in the middle bar or column, is obtained automatically when you certify direct plan and improve, then create deliver and support, high velocity IT, and drive stakeholder value. Of course, you would have to clear ITIL foundation first. 
Now on the extreme left, we have the extension modules. You can try any of them if you like, but if you would like to write the business relationship management or the IT asset management, then ITIL foundation is a must prerequisite. Whereas if you're writing the acquiring and managing cloud services and the sustainability in digital and IT on the extreme left, then ITIL foundation is not mandatory. Now coming to the practice manager bar or column, uh, this certificate is automatically obtained the moment you pass ITIL foundation followed by create, deliver and support. And plus you need to obtain five practice certificates from either from monitor support and fulfill, plan, implement and control, collaborate, assure and improve or including the BRM business relationship management and the ITAM IT asset management. So if you pick any five from these practice certifications and you do the create deliverance support and ITIL foundation, then you automatically receive the practice manager certificate or qualification. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the release management is part of the plan, implement and control bundle. So there are separate exams for these bundles, such as plan, implement and control, monitor support and fulfill and collaborate, assure and improve. So it's also okay if you are doing ITIL foundation, then create, deliver and support. And then if I do plan, or if you do plan, implement and control bundle, then you automatically receive the practice manager. So the practice manager qualification is an interesting one where you could do five individual practices um, and, or you could do any single bundle, uh, which is a combination of five in a single exam and plus the create, deliver, support and ITIL foundation. And once you have done all these three streams fully, practice manager, managing professional and strategic leader, then you automatically receive the ITIL master qualification or certificate. And this has been explained uh, using these footnotes uh, and you can take a look at them, um, which reflects the same as I explained. The learning outcomes for this practice. In fact, the learning outcomes for, are similar, very similar or the same for all the practice certifications. Number one, understand the key concepts of the practice. Number two, understand and apply the key processes of the practice. So three is to understand and apply the roles and competencies for the practice. Number four, understand how information and technology support and enable the practice. Five, understand the role of partners and suppliers in the practice. If you notice, two, three, four, and five relate to the four dimensions of service management and how they are relevant to this practice. Number one is the key concepts of the practice. Number six is about the ITIL capability model to have an understanding of that and how you can relate that to this practice to improve the maturity of the release management practice. And number seven is a concluding lesson to apply the recommendations for the practice success. Now the marks allocation, out of the 20 marks, the 20 questions, topics one and two or the learning outcomes one and two will cover 10 questions, which is quite a lot. And the remaining from three until seven will cover the remaining 10 questions. So those learning outcomes are covered in our subsequent recordings. So we have seven recordings uh, after this uh, introductory recording to this course. And they are the same as I showed you on the learning outcomes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Apart from uh, the this recording and the subsequent seven recordings, uh, which will take you through this course uh, for release management practice, we also have uh, recordings for the two sample papers. So they, those are two separate recordings, one for sample paper one and sample paper two, wherein we have uh, we take you through all the 20 questions for each sample paper and explain the answers and also give you some moments for you to think and reflect on the answer before we reveal and explain it. And there are also recordings uh, for how you can book your exam using the voucher that we give you and also how to access your ebook for the, uh, the practice that is the release management practice guide using the same exam voucher. So we have a separate recording for that. And then there's a recording for how you can uh, recertify. So because all these certificates, the ITIL certificates expire within three years, so how do you renew your certificate without having to write the exam again? So one way to do that is to write another ITIL exam, some other certificate with an ITIL, and uh, all your current ITIL certificates will extend until the expiry of the most recent ITIL certificate. The other way to do it is to 
become a member of uh, Axelos to subscribe to Axelos uh, membership, which is an annual one. You need to do that for three years consecutively. And in each year, you need to claim 20 hours or 20 continuing professional development units or um, uh, CPDs, uh, CPD units uh, for each of those years, 20 of them in order to maintain your certificate without having to write the exam again. So we have a separate recording for that process also. So make sure you're going through all that and get in touch with us anytime if you have any questions. Um, 